um, it's Tuesday which is the second day of Holy Week and we are studying today the anointing at Bethany and you can find this story in Mark 14 verses 3 to 9. Okay. While he was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, as he sat at the table a woman came with an alabaster jar of very costly ointment of nard and she broke open the jar and poured the ointment on his head but some were there who said to one another in anger why was this ointment wasted in this way for, th for this ointment could have been sold for more than 300 denarii and the money given to the poor and they scolded her but Jesus said let her alone why do you trouble her she has performed a good service for me. For you always have the poor with you, and you can show kindness to them whenever you wish, but you will not always have me. She has done what she could. She has anointed my body beforehand for its burial. Truly I tell you, wherever the good news is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in remembrance of her. Um, so we are seeing Jesus before he's arrested, before he even has the last supper with his disciples. He's spending um, his moments of freedom with his friends in a town called Bethany. And during this time he's at the table, probably eating with his friends, when this woman comes with a jar full of oil and she breaks it and pours the oil over Jesus' head. And this is called anointing, um, which just means putting oil on someone or something. And in the ancient Middle East, this was done uh, a sign of hospitality, but also to represent something being holy or someone being holy and set apart and special. And this woman recognises how special Jesus is. Jesus used her actions to talk about his death and he does this quite a lot in the gospel. He always is telling his disciples and the people around him that eventually he is going to die. And he's using, using the woman's actions of pouring oil onto him to represent how when he dies his body is needing to be prepared for burial. So um, in the ancient times they used to prepare, prepare dead bodies with, with oil um, and embalm them and with spices just to keep the bodies fresh as long as possible. And Jesus is, is saying that this woman, that's what this woman is symbolically doing to him. Whether she knew that or not, I don't know. But the woman recognises how special Jesus is. She used 300 days worth of wages, 300 denarii, about 300 days worth um, of her wages on him. And his friends, other friends around him, took his company for granted. But she recognised how special actually that Jesus was. Do we value Jesus' company, even though he's not physically with us? Do we give up time to explore who he is and to talk with him through prayer? Because so we are all invited to a personal relationship with him. But have we become complacent in pursuing that? Jesus says that we will always have the poor. So his friends are disgusted at what this woman is doing. She's wasting this money. She's saying that she should be able to give it to the poor. But Jesus is saying, actually, you're always going to have the poor, but you're not always going to have me. And Jesus isn't saying that we should stop caring for the poor. His ministry that we can see through the Gospel of Mark and the other Gospels is that he spends time with the outcasts, he spends time with people who are in poverty. He's staying in at Simon the leper's house who would have been an outcast because of his skin disease. But it's also important to remember why we serve the poor and not to be too busy serving and doing to spend time with Jesus. The more we focus on Jesus our love and our love for him, and the love he has for us will overflow in our actions and how we see and treat others. Jesus and should be the most important thing in our lives. And we should not confuse Christianity with just doing the right thing, but a person, a personal relationship with Jesus. As we look up to him, we should reach out to those around us. Today, let's reflect on who Jesus is and the love that he has shown us through his death on the cross and the love that he has for those around us those who are outcast and struggling uh, those who are in poverty and less well off than us let's not take our relationship uh, with Jesus for granted and grasp every opportunity we can to find out more about him 
to spend time talking with him in prayer and exploring who he is through the Bible.